I may not know what you're going through. Come on, use the name of Jesus. That's what Peter meant when he said, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He said, rise up and walk. Now, the man didn't get up immediately. But Peter reached out, his, uh, got him by the right hand and pulled him up. And the Bible says when he pulled him up, his ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked. What did Peter mean when he said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk? The man couldn't walk in his own name. The man couldn't walk in his father's name. So there are things you can't do with your own strength. And you are trying your best. And it's not working. Use the name of Jesus. He said, whatever you do in word or deed, use the name of Jesus. If you're studying something, it's getting confusing. Say, my mind is alert in the name of Jesus. Learn to use the name of Jesus. Declare his word. He has made you a success. You say, in the name of Jesus, I am a success. Maybe I'll close with this. There are wars. You get it? There are wars that you have to command. You see the wars that try to stop you. And you command them to come down in the name of Jesus. And they fall. There are other wars that when you get to them, you push them down. And they'll fall. But there are some wars. And these are the most terrible wars. You know, some people think, they think, you know, there's some big demons in charge of this thing. Let me tell you something. The biggest demons are the simplest to deal with. Listen, I'll tell you, it's very important you know this. The most senior demons are the simplest to deal with. I cast out devils, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let me explain simply to you. The biggest demons understand authority more than the smallest ones. They know the meaning of the name of Jesus. So never be terrorized by who oh, it's a big demon. No, the bigger the demon, the simpler the issue. So there are wars that are there to block you from getting at that thing that God has given you. And those wars, if you push them, they will not fall. If you command them to leave, they will not go. There's a reason. They are the most terrible wars. They are the ones that when you look at, you say, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Fear grips you. And because of that, many have had their faith paralyzed. Because they saw these terrible wars. They saw this terrible resistance. I tell you how to deal with that kind of war. Close your eyes. Yeah. You close your eyes. Refuse to recognize its presence. And you walk through in the name of Jesus. Go through. So 
mighty shout hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Refuse to recognize its presence. Hallelujah. I got the life of God in me. Every fiber of my being, every bone of my body. Kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell, like, comment, and share. Thank you.